Hey friends, today I had a slight bit of insight, almost an epiphany. I was watching um, a music video and, and a, kind of repeating over and over a song that I'm sure many of you have heard of um, called Am I Wrong? And the song sort of talks about um, going after your own unique path and um, chasing what you want in life, um, you know, with a with a kind of confidence and, and not being afraid to be different. And this made me a little bit emotional because I'm leaving my job uh, in in I've got four more days left at work and then I'll be I'll be gone. I'll be traveling and, and going to the U.S. and and then coming back with with um, not exactly knowing what I want to do, but some some plans and some plans that seem a bit different. And I think thinking about it, what the song really made me realize is that there's two really important things that I need to make sure that I do as I enter this phase of transition. The first is that I need to be unafraid of being unique. <laughs> the song lyrics say, am I wrong for um, wanting to go a different path? Um, you know, doing something different that other people, you know, aren't doing and uh, and that can be difficult because it's easy to look at the scripts the um the examples of other people and say oh I'll, I'll do that you know you know whether it's a script whether it's a the career path that's been laid out by sort of institutions um companies and and, and academic institutions or whether it's just an example of, of a famous person who is, is inspirational and, and that's okay but um, not knowing that actually your own path will be unique and different. So um, my own path will be unique and different, and that's okay. And and um, and that that shouldn't be a source of fear. Um, in fact, that should be a source of, of strength. And realizing that it's unique means that I can make sure that it really fits me and not somebody else. But then the second thing that really struck me was. Um, that I need to follow my intuition. And that's something that I've been focusing on already. And the last couple of books I've read have really focused on that. Um, and intuition is, you know, it's really just your unconscious mind processing millions and millions of things and giving you a, an answer to to what the best way to move forward is. And so as I think about the future, the gut feeling is actually really, really important because um, the, the future is very complex and consciously I can't sort through all the different options that are available. So using that gut feeling as a way to let my unconscious mind do some of the work is really powerful and something that I need to remember to to trust. Because I, 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 I think I know that I can trust my intuition sometimes, but I think when I get, when things get really challenging, I feel like, oh, I better better control everything. And that need to control means I block out the intuition when actually it's most useful. So, um, yeah, those things are, are two things I'll keep in mind uh, as I enter this transition, this uh, being unafraid of the uniqueness and, and following my intuition. Um, so I'm curious uh, if you enter a dialogue into me, with me, um, what, what are some of the things that you keep in mind when you're entering a transition? What are some transitions that are going on in your life right now or that you've just gone through? Um, really curious to hear uh, what's going on for you. So that's it for today. Um, see you next time. Ciao.